Okay, this is Don McLeod from Brampton Focus, and we're here with Arpan Kana, who is actually going to be running against Ruby Sahoda in Brampton North. You're the Conservative candidate. Yes. So, Arpan, tell us a little bit about yourself and why people should vote for you, and what do you want to bring to the table? Well, first of all, Don, thank you so much, and the entire Brampton Focus team, for always putting our issues first, uh, whether it's the provincial or the municipal campaign. You guys have always done a great job advocating for our issues. Um, my name is Arpan Kanna. I am a, a proud son of an immigrant that came in the 80s. Um, I've been born and raised in Brampton North my entire life. I've lived here, elementary school, middle school, high school. Um, Brampton North is home for me. Um, and you know, when I went to university, uh, I went to Western. Uh, I did my undergrad in criminology, like Ramona. I wanted to be a police officer as well. I wanted to serve my community. Um, and from there, I got you know this political bug that hits you sometimes. Um, I joined uh, after graduating. I was at Queens Park. I worked as a political staffer with uh, then leader Tim Hudak. Um, and then I worked with um, our federal government as well, with Jason Kenney and Stephen Harper for a few years. So I have quite a bit of experience working with different levels of government. Um, I'm also a small business owner. Uh, I own a consulting business. I also finished my law degree and, and I work at a law firm in downtown Toronto uh, right now. So the reason why I decided to run was that as a Bramptonian, uh, as a proud Bramptonian, as you know, Don, we're very proud people. Um, and our city has so much potential. Um, and I've seen our city grow from, you know, when north of Bovera was just fields uh, to now one of the highest density areas. And I felt like, you know, we're getting left behind. Um Election after election after election, politicians come to our ridings, to come to the city of Brampton, they pose for photo ops, um, and then when the election's over, they leave. And that hurt all of us, you know, as, for, as someone who's a proud Bramptonian, um, you know, I think it's time we start advocating for our fair share. It's time we have a national voice, um, that our voice is heard at the national level. So one of my passions has always been is that, yes, we have issues, um, you know, with crime and, and jobs and affordability, but there's so much we should be celebrating as well and you know today with our MP we toured some of the manufacturing uh, businesses that's a good story for us to tell we're making solid products in our city you know we have the 410 close to us we have the airport the airport close to us we have the CN real close to us we have a lot of potential but we're not advocating for us on, at that level and that's what my commitment to the uh, residents of Brampton North is that I'm gonna be a fighter I'm gonna fight for them I'm gonna be a champion on their issues to make sure not only are our concerns heard but there's results for us and if there's anyone that wants to contact me, join our campaign team, be a part of the movement, please call me directly on my cell phone. You know, I always say politicians should be held accountable. We're not, uh, you know, here for a job. We're public servants and we're here to serve the community. So give me a call anytime at 647-969-7898. Anytime, you know, seven days a week, give me a call. Uh, and I look forward to meeting a lot of you uh, during the campaign trail.